Today we're going to discuss how to approach the yellow personality and how you can speak to a yellow in their language. In today's episode, we're going to learn the core motivation of the yellow personality. We're also going to learn what makes yellow a yellow and how to form a deep relationship with a yellow personality. Stay tuned. So what is the core motivation of the yellow personality? It's fun and immediate gratification. Yellows are all about everything now. They need freedom. They need to connect and be liked. And they need praise. All that feel good stuff. What they want is to be playful and spontaneous. They want to be carefree. They love playfulness, adventure, and change. Constant change. Fun change. If anything gets too hard, it's time to change. Anything gets too long and maybe looking a little bit like work, got to change it and got to make it more fun. Don't give yellows homework. You do the homework. You just keep them on with the fun stuff. The riding around, the looking, the picking out the colors, anything that's fun and they can do immediately and accomplish successfully fast. Yellows are charismatic and lighthearted. And I can't use the word fun enough. Keep it fun. Be fun. Acknowledge that they're fun. If you have to, just imagine a yellow person with the word fun written on the front of their forehead. They're not afraid to make a fool of themselves. And when they do, don't belittle them or downgrade them. Laugh with them. Be part of it. Jump in and make a fool of yourself too. They'll appreciate it. They have a very strong sense of adventure and they're willing to try new things. Especially if you come up with it. If you come up with something new to do, they're most likely to jump in. Keep them busy. Keep it fun. And keep all your conversation about what happens right now if they make the decision you want them to make. If they sell that house right now, they could be on that vacation tomorrow. You know, within a few days, they could have that new car. They could buy that boat and be on the lake within hours if they close this deal like now. That's how you talk to a yellow. Yellows have a heart of gold and they're very forgiving. Now, let's don't give them things to forgive us for, but if you make a mistake, just ask for forgiveness. They will forgive you. So these are all the things that make a yellow a yellow. Just remember, make it magical and make it exciting. That's what they want. So before we go on to how to form a relationship with a yellow, let's slow down for just a second and let me ask you a question. Have you liked these episodes? Have they been informative? Have they led you to some insights? Do you think you'll use them in the future? If the answer is yes, please hit the like button and the share button for us. Let the world know what you think. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, then let's do that right now because there is a lot more information where this is coming from. All right, the final segment is about how to form a relationship with a yellow. Yellows expect you to be positive and proactive. They also want you to accept their teasing. And if they reach over and touch you, don't be offended. They're a very touchy-feely person. Don't be surprised when a yellow comes up and puts their hand on your shoulder when they talk to you or that they get close to you when they talk. They may be invading your space, but to them it's just normal and they're showing you that they like you and they don't mean anything else by it. Also, remember to adore and praise yellows. Yellows are sensitive. They hold their feelings deeply and you'll need to show them that they're accepted by you by praising and adoring them. Always remember they are more sensitive than they appear. So under that fun-loving, carefree facade, don't rub them the wrong way. They'll get their feelings hurt very easily. You might want to be careful as to what you joke about and make sure it's not too personal. Beyond that, Always be creative and fun. (laughs) If I've made any impression on you, fun, 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 okay? Gotta have fun. Allow yellow's verbal expression and above all, hold their charismatic innocence really dear. They're charismatic, but they're a little naive about some things. Don't call them on it. Just let them be in their space. So if you want to lose a yellow, just do this. 
Hello, Mr. Yellow. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. Yeah, well, today you need to come over because we need to go over this entire contract to buy this house. We need to go over it paragraph by paragraph, sentence by sentence, so that you understand everything because I really want you to understand everything. And then after we're done with that, we're going to have to go over to the house and we have to do a walkthrough for a very detailed inspection report. So when can we do that? You just lost that yellow. They are so long gone. They're out of here. That did not sound fun. Do the inspection report yourself. If there's anything they need to know, call and tell them. Tell them the highlights of the contract. Now, this is your name. This is my name. I'm buying it. This is the sales price. You're going to close in this date over here. Okay? Keep it simple. Fun. Now, let's go have lunch. I hear they have margaritas down here at happy hour. This concludes our discussion about the yellow personality and how to form a relationship with a yellow. So for those of y'all that stuck around, I'd like to give away a free copy of my Creative Real Estate Investing webinar. Just click on the link right here below. Again, that's The Art of Creative Real Estate Investing. It's a free webinar. All you do is click on the link below. You'll get it digitally downloaded and you will be learning exactly how I made a 27-year career out of creatively manipulating some real estate and some terms.